the darkness kind of just goes away. It they can't commingle directly like that. There needs to be that third party, the triangle that has to happen. That's just part of a proper trust arrangement. So, what do you mean when the people are dealing with people of equity? Let's say the let's say the assistant for the attorney general called you right now and says, "Is this Jody plus your surname?" Most people would have had would have said yes right then and there. Again, that's me. That's my cop yes, say, is this you? Yeah, so and that's say, them yes. testing you to see if you know what you're talking about. Because as soon as we identify and associate with that surname now, after we've surrendered it. That, that all capitals. That all capital, capital name, that can be seen or construed as mm, maybe this lady or, or man doesn't know Doesn't everything. quite get it. Yeah. Because he should have said, no, that's not me. Right. Let me direct you to. Is this regarding a trust matter? Like, yeah. questions, bazillion, like, you come up with them now at this point. But, again, just never, because as soon as you actually, this is a weird way to say it, though. As soon as you say, yes, your Christian name plus the last name, that actually makes you naked. Just or like, dead? Or dead, just like in Scripture. So vulnerable, completely vulnerable. exposed. You're completely, all your God-given protections are now gone because you've mm, signed up for better protections somewhere else you thought. Oh, but you were wrong. So now that you serve another god or another and are father, operating as a dead character, you have a, that's why you have absolutely no rights. As a per son, as soon as you're a per son, like a a per daughter, per son. What does that mean? Now you're the corporation. You're operating you're as the person. that identity, yes. that fake character. You're the and corporation. And then Done. because you're exposed, that's why things can attach yep. to you. Yeah, it's just like biting the apple. Biting the apple is the same thing as signing that social insurance number application. Those two allegories are synonymous. That's what happened. Okay, say that We were time. warned, <laughs> don't eat from the tree. Right. But the tree was here. We had possession of the tree. We looked at it every day. It was literally within our possession. It our, real good. See, we, yeah, we could do. Uh, yeah, I'm, no, I'm going to ignore that mm. temptation today. But when oh you were 16, you you walked in, and you said, "I wish to bite of the tree. I wish to be as of a god." I volunteer. I volunteer for, this. for all of this. Oh. And wow, did we get hoodwinked? But we didn't know that's what was going on in the background when we were 16. Very few people nowadays. Okay, well, other than the teachings, as of well, the last 10, 15 years, maybe 20. Anybody before that? That genre those time frames they don't have a clue about any of this stuff okay so while we're on this please explain the whole dead at sea why that how that plays into this okay when you are abandoned when you're 14 days old because your parents because didn't your parents take didn't, yes. the birth certificate and go back to the government says yes this child was born. Yes. And I'm going to sign saying... And here's my interest in that child. I claim all this, this, that, and the other. Oh, and the sky could even be green. Right. Doesn't matter because you... But that was the important link. Yes. Because then the government says, okay, because you, you get to cash in yeah. on this and child's equity. because you didn't cash in, they did. So they went, okay, we're going to take over this yes. account that you have just abandoned. Abandoned. We'll administer We'll it. make you think... Well, we're going to put your identity as capitals yep. so that you are incorporated under us mm -hmm. then what happened and then you become subject 100 percent to their company charter like if you walk into tim hortons you have to apply by tim walmart's rules because they fall all under that that particular company. corporation right and when you leave at five o'clock or nine o'clock or whatever the clock is at the end of the day those rules were not supposed to follow you home Okay, so getting but, back though to the, let's go back to the dead at sea thing. Okay. So when uh, you didn't claim the 14 days, the then same. what happened? Boom. Okay, so mom and dad left it. We showed up at 16 and said, yeah, we are confirming that we're dead at sea. Because, that's a confirmation yes, of death. That's a, con that's a confirmation of death. <gasps> uh, isn't that crazy? <gasps> and by 21, being of the age of, let's just call it most accepted age of majority worldwide, let's just say it's 21. Right. So again, at 21, no one shows up to do anything at that special year either. So there's your your trifectum. There's the right. three. You've had three opportunities. Three strikes, you're Three out. strikes. <laughs> now you are absolutely deemed to be dead and lost and gone at sea. Oh. Likely never to return. Because they the system gave you one, so two. So that's when it officially three happens. Three strikes. So not after the 14 days, after the three points 
yeah. where, and, you know what, this person hasn't yes, come back after at this. At all, right? So what happens at that point? And then they issue all kinds of certificates and paperwork in the background that's going to substantiate their claim to administrate your estate. Your estate, right, right? Because they've got they got someone's all this. Got yeah, someone's got it. They've got right. all this paperwork, and none of it proves that you're competent to manage your affairs. Because right. dead people can't. Dead people can't. <laughs> and now the system oh. takes over and goes, "Yep, put them in that box." So, with taking our birth certificate, attaching value onto it, showing up, saying, "I <laughs> surprise, I am <laughs> actually alive." Hello, See, that's all, that's all right? That's all the judge is. is like, "Well, hello, Jody Lynn." See, done. Like, and we know that was your name, but no, you want to operate under this name. Yes. That's fine. So, you were born, or you're. We'll change these documents that you yeah, actually are yeah. claiming that yeah. you're alive at this time. There's the stamp, the we'll event, correct everything, the new event that takes yes. place. Because how honorable of you to finally come to something called a an awakening to an escheated estate. Ooh. If you do a little bit of digging on escheated estate, it's pretty cool. It, what is it? Escheated. Escheated. E, yeah. E s c h e a t e d. Okay. So escheated. It's it has most of the word says it's cheating. So there's something going on there, <laughs> and it instantly kind of grabs our attention and says, "Wow, what's that all about?" Luckily, in Manitoba, that act happens to be a page and a half long. Or two pages tops in there somewhere. And when I redlined it and I highlighted it, I virtually highlighted the whole thing. <laughs> Why? Yeah, because it, it, it all applies. It's, 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 this is it. This is what's going on in the background. It's, it's them taking an estate that's deemed abandoned. Yeah. It is also termed escheated. And because the owner has vanished and is likely never to return, we will assume full control while they have possession because you took their certificate you ran away so what's the actual title of that we're the trustee what would they be considered then at that moment in time yes we're the trustee and they are everything else oh. <laughs> everything else is good after the trustee mm -hmm. the trustee gets burdened well i mean again not that it's a burden some people love doing all this stuff so not that it's a burden but it's lawfully defined as it being a burden okay. so that class of administrators is now burdened with the enjoyment of you being lost at sea. They are literally on the shore watching you swimming and drowning and they're profiting from your drowning. Mm -hmm. So when you come back, they just look at whatever is in that you, account. Yeah, you came back from your swim, you reached into your- uh, This is what we've made for you while you were gone. Yeah, this is what we did because you're acting honorably by showing up and saying, hey, here's my coat check ticket. Mm -hmm. I want my stuff back. And they have to say yes, because the system cannot be seen as acting dishonorably as soon as it is, the whole system melts. It crashes. It crashes instantly. Yeah. So it's way more profitable for everybody. And let's just say everybody, not even on, maybe on this planet, but I mean everybody, for us to do our very best and for us to do our very best, they paved the way for us to do it, but left a very scattered breadcrumb tra trail. And that you showing up now saying, hey, this is me, but this is also the person that I went swimming with. And this isn't me. This is you. You take that back. And I want my stuff. Okay. Now, what do you define your stuff to be? That's where creating a trust comes in. Right. Now, you take this special little trust expression. You literally writing it down. That's you expressing it. If you don't write it down, you can actually say it by voice. Say, yeah, you could do that too. And this is what we're providing all these templates for. Right. Because the templates are technical to look at, but these are all, these will be the, the breakdowns as to the, the meanings of what some of these things are for all of our friends here. Okay, so now we're showing up to the government and we're saying, surprise, I'm alive. Surprise, I'm alive. So now we've accessed this estate. Is yes. it called a state or yeah, equity? A, li a life estate. Okay. Yeah. We now, this is where land titles comes in, mm -hmm. right? Because we are now presenting to the court everything that has been operating under this false fictional character's sure. name. Yep. And you now show up to correct the record. Hey, Your Honor, I think there's been a mistake here. I may have done a lot of damage unknowingly, but I know equity is going to forgive me for that because it was unknowingly. Thank you. I didn't know any better. I didn't I know any fooled. better. I was I tricked. was 16 years old. That's right. Come on. Yeah. And the judge is like, oh, of course. <sighs> People will go uh, spend a, a career in law 
and still only not understand all of it. That's why they have to practice in special divisions. Not one particular lawyer knows it all. Oh my God, no. That's absurd. And yet, the system deems you to know all the laws. To in our funky to, language. In your funky language to participate in their funky system. Because you're the ones that, you're the one authorizing and signing all these documents. You're the one getting the ball rolling. You're the one creating all this world for yourself. As it indebted, bonded mm -hmm. Sir, monster all that stuff incompetent See, dead like it's not person dead, right and here's the other twist mom and the condition of mom and dad favor the offspring so if mom and dad didn't perfect their shit guaranteed daughter or son aren't gonna yeah so they can actually streamline that process and make it go well mom and dad had no standing uh so therefore your not, children are also deemed unworthy. your children are also deemed as much of a lunatic idiot Rebel, yeah. belligerent, enemy, ward, infant. Invalid. <laughs> all that. So, yeah, this is, again, you coming forward to correct the record is the most honorable thing a man or woman can do. Okay, so someone is pregnant, about to have a child, or is within their 14 days, what should they be doing right now? As soon as that birth certificate comes back, sign it properly and send it right back to Vital Statistics. So signing it properly, meaning the both parents put their signature sure. on oh, there. yeah, absolutely. Attach a silver one coin. ounce coin yeah, to it, coin. giving it value. Yes, and then here, put this right back into the account that it just came from for Susie Q daughter or son's benefit. When they turn eight, they get this. When they turn 12, they're afforded this. When they're 16, they get that. When so you 20, can make a trust absolutely. out of that that's when they the, have access to it. That's the position of the set lore. Okay, so do the parents have access to the child's account or just the child? Just the child. Whatever okay. the settler sets it up to be. Right. You nice. can actually say, yeah, this is for little daughter or son. You can set up for 21, 16, for whatever For the rest age. of their life. And you can actually set it up in secret so that they don't know where this and how this and otherwise. Uh, so they have to this is literally be that, deemed worthy as well. This is literally that private. Wow. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Would they take that right to the court system because they are... The they would be approached. A lawyer would approach them or a personal representative would actually approach son or daughter at the appropriate ages and says... No, I meant in the hospital. Oh, um, they can actually start putting pertinent like, information down on the very applications that they are signing. In the hospital. In the hospital, boom. And we'll okay, actually, so what would... Yeah, yeah we'll actually go... I'll, I'll actually develop something for that. Perfect. And nice. we can actually tweak we that. that. We'll make that another people segment. That have, they're right in the middle of yep. this where they're like, what can we do? What can we do? Yep. Well, we've got a language and yep. we can write that out. Yep. And so, again... The fact that we can correct all these mistakes by as soon as you grab a red pen and write it on that certificate or write it on the application to get this certificate, our worlds are changing on the spot. Now add in a little bit of wisdom and a little bit of knowledge how to direct your actions from here on in and things get interesting very quickly. Sweet. Nice. There's uh, lots to learn in that.